Welcome back. This has been an ongoing experiment in using genetic algorithms to evolve simple neural simulations. We started with a basic filter feeder, gave it a layered visual cortex, we created a creature that can swim around in a 2D environment, gave it vision, and let it evolve a nervous system that can avoid objects. In this episode, we look at pattern recognition and memory. This was an unplanned part of the experiment. I began posting these videos to YouTube, connecting with people on Facebook, and starting a Facebook group. I've met a lot of interesting people. Along the way, I ran into Jakub. Jakub is a graduate of the Lahore University School of Science and Engineering. Jakub is a PhD candidate at a university in Poland. This is Jakub adjusting to the climate in Poland. Jakub's PhD work involves using genetic algorithms to create a simple neural network that can recognize patterns in a stream of signals. Jakub's research involves using what are called spiking neural networks. These networks attempt to simulate more closely the actual electrical properties of neurons and their connections. This experiment requires the network to remember states and history. To recognize a pattern, you need to know what has happened in the past. The output from Jakub's experiment are the voltage spikes from simulated neurons. He succeeded. Basically, this network is fed a random series of symbols, A, B, and C. The network is evolved to respond when it sees a sequence of A, B, and C in that order. This is really interesting because the network has to keep track of a state. It has to remember what the last two symbols were and respond differently depending on what those symbols are. I felt this was a great test for the system I've been building. Here's some of the bits of code I needed to add to my platform. I decided to use the filter feeder creature from episode one. I needed to replace the food with a long tape of symbols, a way for the creature to get this symbol stream to its sensors, and a fitness function to evolve the behavior. This only took about 50 lines or so of code. Armed with these changes, I turned my neural evolution system loose on this task. It took about 30 generations and resulted in a very simple network. Here is the organism running. It is the filter feeder from before, and its mouth opens only when it sees the correct sequence. I've highlighted these correct sequences in blue for readability. As you can see, it works. The creature's mouth only opens when it sees the A, B, C sequence. I think this is very interesting. It doesn't take that many neurons to develop memory and a persistent state. It's an open question as to whether real organisms recognize patterns and states this way. But it is interesting how we were able to recreate this capability with such simple networks. Both my system and Jakub's spiking neural network were able to evolve a successful solution.